welcome, welcome. I welcome you all to this lecture in the course Sandhi in Paninian Grammar. In this lecture, we continue studying Hal Sandhi. Hal Sandhi is the Sandhi that replaces a Hal. Hal is a consonant. There are two types of Hal Sandhi that we have been studying so far. The first one is Ekasthanika Ekadesha, which means that there is one substituent which is replaced by one substitute. And the second one is Ekasthanika Dvyadesha, where there is one substituent which is replaced by two substitutes, Ekasthani and Dvyadesha. We have already studied several instances of Ekasthanika Ekadesha. Right now we are studying Ekasthanika Dvyadesha, where there is one substituent which is replaced by two substitutes. And this can be shown diagrammatically in this particular manner. You have A plus B and this is the substitute AX. So A plus B is the environment and this is in Samhita mode. So when B follows, A is substituted by AX. It could also be XX. So A is the one substituent and the substitutes are these two. And that is the reason why this is Ekasthanika Dvyadesha. We said that there are three instances of Ekasthanika Dvyadesha. Dvirvachana Sandhi, Agama Sandhi and also Sattvanaswara Sandhi. We have already studied Dvirvachana Sandhi and Agama Sandhi. What remains to be seen is the Sattvanuswara Sandhi. And this is done now at the end of Hal Sandhi primarily because this has got some sutras which also are used in the next chapter that is Visarga Sandhi. So now let us study Sattvanuswara Sandhi in detail. What is the concept? What does Sattvanuswara Sandhi mean? It means the Sandhi in the form of Sattva Anuswara, which are the substitutes and R is the substituent. So in place of R, S and Anuswara, they come in add as the output. Although there is Anunasika together with S, also as an optional output that is very rarely seen and that is why that is not mentioned separately. We focus only on Sattvanuswara Sandhi whose examples are found in abundance in several texts in Sanskrit. For example, we have in the Srimad Bhagavad Gita in the second chapter, we have this particular verse Ashochan and Vashochastvam Pradnya Vadaushcha Bhashase Katasun Agatasunshcha Nanu Shochanti Panditaha. So Agatasunshcha. Here we have this particular Sattva Anuswara Sandhi. Pradnya Vadaushcha Bhashase. We also have this Sattva Anuswara Sandhi. Hatvartha Kamaustu. Also we have this particular type of Sandhi. So we must remember over here that the substituent is R and the two substitutes in place of this R are S and Anaswar. And that is how this is Ekasthanika Dvyadesha. Here are the sutras that we are going to study in order to study this particular Sandhi. Samaha Suti 835 Atraranasika Purvasyatu Va 832, Anunasikat Paronaswaraha, 834, Vamakhayam Pare, 836, and finally, Nashchavya Prashan, 837. Let us first study Samaha Suti, 835. This particular sutra has got two padas, Samaha 
and Suti. Samaha is 6 slash 1 of Sam. Sam is a preverb and Upasarga. So in this case 6 slash 1 means in place of. So in place of Sam. Suti is 7 slash 1 of Sut. Sut means augment S. The marker T indicates that this S is to be added before. So Suti means immediately before Sut. Ru is 1 slash 1 of Ru, sound R. And so this Ruhu is the substitute. So this sutra means immediately before the augment Sut, that is S, substitute Sam and then by the application of other Paribhasha sutras, namely Alontyasya, the exact substitute and is ma. So substitute ma in sum by ru. That is the meaning of this particular sutra. I repeat, immediately before the augment sut, substitute sum by ru. So here is the example where this particular sutra samasuti is applied. So we are deriving the word samskrita, where we have the verbal root kru preceded by the preverb sum and this indicates that the meaning of this crew now is not just to do but to embellish bhushana and we have the augment sa added over here in this particular meaning samparibhyam karotau bhushane or in some other cases samparyupebhya karotau bhushane so sam plus crew plus the and at the next stage we have some plus screw plus the and now because there is this soot we substitute this ma by ru. So the next stage is saru plus screw plus the saru plus screw plus the. In this ru we have u as the marker by 132 and 139 deletes it and so we get sir plus screw plus t as the stage derived until now. So the point is by the sutra samasuti ma is substituted by ru. We will derive the word samskrita eventually with the help of the understanding of the other two sutras that we are going to study now. First one is Atrananasika Purvasya Tuva 832 and here there are five padas Atra which means here which means in this section of Ru substitution. Anunasika is one slash one of Anunasika. Anunasika is nasal sound and so Anunasika is the substitute. Purvasya is 6 slash 1 of Purva that means in place of the previous sound, Tu means but and Va means optionally. So all these meanings put together, the meaning of the Sutra is but in this section of Ru substitution, the sound previous to the Ru is substituted by the nasal variety of that sound optionally. I repeat, but in this section of Ru, Ru substitution, the sound previous to the Ru is substituted by the nasal variety of that sound optionally. So here is the example. We were at this stage, Sar plus Kru plus the. Now because this is Ru, this sutra says that the vowel that, that precedes this Ru is this A. Uh, so now in place of this a uh, is substituted its nasal varieties. So we have sa, sa is the substituent, a uh is the substituent and a or anunasik a uh is the substitute. So sa, r and skru and t, this will be the output. Sar, skru, t is the input and sar, skru, t this is the output. This is the meaning of this particular sutra. 
Now let us look at the next sutra in the same context. Anunasikat paraha anuswaraha 834. So Anunasikat is 5 slash 1 of Anunasika. In this case, fifth case means other than the nasal. And para is latter 1 slash 1. And this is the substitute. So Anuswaraha is also 1 slash 1, which is also a substitute. The meaning of the sutra is the other option, other than the nasal 1, because there is an option there. So the other option, other than the nasal 1, is the Anuswara substitute in place of that sound that is previous to Ru substitution. I repeat. The other option other than the nasal one Anunasikat Paraha is the Anuswara, Anuswaraha, Anuswara substitute in place of the sound that is previous to Ru substitution, Roho Purvasya. So we had come up to this stage surplus scrupulous the and then there was this Anunasika, Sa or Sa, Ra screw plus the, this was one substitution, one output and the other output is this, samr, screw and the, this is the anuswara, this is the anunasika, this is the anuswara, this is the second output generated by 834. So we have two outputs over here. Now what happens to this stage? Anuswara, R, Samr, Screw and T. From hereafter we focus only on the Anuswara and we focus and take the Anuswara ahead. So what happens now to this Samr plus Screw plus T? So the next part is that we have the Sutra Visarjani Yasya Saha 8334. Visarjani Yasya Saha. This sutra is also going to be helpful in understanding the Visarga Sandhi. In this sutra, there are two padas, Visarjani Yasya and Saha. Visarjani Yasya is 6 slash 1 of Visarjaniya, that is in place of the Visarjaniya. And Saha is 1 slash 1 of Sa, that is sound Sa. This is the substitute. So, in place of Visarga, comes the substitute sa. This is what the sutra says in a nutshell. The words continued are the following. First, we have khari, 7 slash 1 of khar, which means immediately before khar, that is class 1 and 2, and also sh, sh, and sa. So, we have the meaning of the sutra immediately before khar, that is immediately before class consonants 1 and 2 and sh, sh, s, the visarjaniya is substituted by s. So here we have samr, screw and t. Now this r is substituted by a visarga. So sam plus screw plus t and now this visarga is substituted by s by the application of this particular sutra, Visarjani Yasya Saha. So, sums, screw and t. And here, there is a vartika which says, Sampankanam so vaktavyaha. So, first there is this Visarga followed by screw and this vartika says that substitute sa in place of this Visarga. Because there is an option, Vashari that also comes into play and so there will be optional derivation where in one option there will be this visarga and in other option there will be sa. The Vartika says that no, no, there is only one output namely the sa. So sampunkanam so vaktavyaha. So this visarga is obligatorily substituted by sa. And in this case samova lopameke, this is the bhashya statement according to which this sa uh, is deleted optionally. And so once it is deleted, you get some screw and t, so you get some skrita 
as an optional form. The other form would be with two sakaras, samskrita. This is how the word samskrita is derived. Let us now look at the other example and the other sutra. That is Pumaha Khayyam Pare. This is 836. This particular sutra has got three padas, Pumaha, Khai and Ampare. Pumaha is 6 slash 1 of Pum, which means in place of. Khai is 7 slash 1 of Khai, that is class consonants 1 and 2, and Khai means immediately before. Ampare is also 7 slash 1 of Ampara. Ampara is made up of two constituents, am and para, and ampare means immediately before. Am stands for all vowels plus her plus semi vowels plus class consonant 5. The other word that is continued is ruhu, 1 slash 1 of ru, that is sound r, which is the substitute. So the meaning of the sutra is this. Substitute ru or sound r in place of pum, which comes immediately before a khai, which comes immediately before am. I repeat, substitute ru, sound r in place of pum, at the end of this word pum, that is in place of ma, which comes immediately before a khai, which this khai comes immediately before an am. So we have pum followed by khai followed by am and in this situation this ma is substituted by ru. So we have puru plus khai plus am and this u is further processed and is deleted and so we have pur khai and am. This is the output generated so far of the sutra Pumaha Khayyam Pare. Let us take an example where we have once again the word Pum followed by the word Kokila. So the final output generated is this Pum's Kokila or Pum's Kokila. This is an Anunasika, this is Anuswara. Now the first stage is Pum kokila. Now this ma is substituted by ru because this ka follows, and so we have because ka is part of khai. So this ma is substituted by ru. So we have puru plus kokila. Then this u is marked as it and dropped by 1, 3, 2, and 9. So we have pur plus kokila. Then Atraranasika purvasya tuva is applied and immediately before this r there is this vowel u which is then substituted by the nasal variety of u. So we have mu, r and then kokila. Optionally this vowel also gets an anaswara on top of it, mum, r and kokila. Now the next stage is this one, namely that we substitute this r by the visarga. So, puhu and kokila and puhu and kokila. So, this r is substituted by, an, by a visarga. Then this visarga is substituted by s by the sutra visarjaniyasya saha. So, pums kokila and pums kokila and so then finally we get the forms Pums kokila and pums kokila, the two finally derived words which are the optional outputs of the sutra Pumakhayam Pare. The second example of the same sutra is this Pum plus Putra, and the finally derived output is this Pums Putra or Pums Putra. So we have pum plus putra and then this ma comes at the end of the pada followed by pa and so this ma is substituted by ru. 
So there is this pum and this pa which is part of the khai and after that there is u which is part of am. So this is am para khai which follows and so ma becomes ru. So we have puru plus putra, puru plus putra. Then this u gets marked as it and then it is deleted. So we get pur plus putra. After that, atranunasika purvasya tubaha applies and substitutes this vowel by an anunasika. So we have pur and putra and then we have umr and putra. Then this r is substituted by avisarga and this r is also substituted by avisarga. These forms are optional. And finally, this visarga is substituted by sa by the sutra visarjani yasya saha. And so finally, we get the forms umsputra or pumsputra. These two are the optional forms. Next, we have the sutra nashchavya prashan. This is 837. There are three words in the sutra, three padas, naha, chavi and aprashan. So naha is six slash one of na, which means in place of sound na. Chavi is seven slash one of chav, which means cha tha tha cha ta ta. That is immediately before these sounds. The words continued are ampare, seven slash one of ampara, which is made up of am and para and ampare means immediately before. Am stands for all vowels plus h plus semi vowels plus class consonants 5. Ruhu is one slash one of ru that is sound ru and this is the substitute. Padasya is six slash one of pada which is part of a pada. So the meaning of this sutra is then the following. Immediately before chav, chavi, that is cha, tha, tha, cha, ta, ta, which is followed by am, that is all vowels plus her plus semi vowels plus consonants five, in place of na, that comes at the end of a pada, substitute ru or sound r, except in the word prashan. So in the word prashan, na comes at the end of the pada. And even if they, even if this na is followed by chav, which is followed by am, this na is not substituted by ru. Elsewhere, this na or such na will be substituted by ru. So this is the equation. So this is the pada at the end of which appears this na, followed by chav, followed by am, and now this na will be substituted by this ru. So the output generated would be ru plus chau plus am and the input was na plus chau plus am. Here is the example. Bhavan plus tarati. Na comes at the end of the pada followed by tarati at the beginning of which appears ta which is part of chav. After ta there is this a. So this is ampara chau and therefore this na is substituted by ru. So we have bhavaru plus tarati. In this case, this u is termed as it and then deleted by 132 and 139. So we get bhavar plus tarati. Now here, by the application of the sutra, atrananasika purvasyatu va, this vowel a is substituted by the anunasika variety of a and because this precedes immediately this r. So we have bhavar and tarati, one option and the other option is this a is substituted by a plus anuswara and so you have bhavar and tarati. Then this r gets substituted by a visarga. So bhava tarati or this visarga is replacing this r. 
After that, by the application of the Sutra Visarjaniya Syasaha, this Visarga is substituted by Sa, like this, in this particular step. In both Bhavans Tarati and Bhavans Tarati. So finally, we get these two optional forms. This is with Anunasika sign, this is with Anaswar. Bhavans Tarati or Bhavans Tarati. This is how Nashchavya Prashan applies in this particular example. Let us look at the other example, namely Bhavan and Tikate. Here we have na at the end of the pada, followed by this ta, which is part of chau, followed by this e, which is part of am. So this is ampara chau, and ampara chau para na is there. So this na is substituted by ru. So you have bhavaru plus tikate. This ru has got u as the marker by 132. So it gets deleted by 139. So we have bhavar plus tikate as the next step. Then atrananasika purva syatuva applies and substitutes this vowel that precedes this r by the nasal of that same vowel. So this is the sign of the nasal. So we have bhavar plus tikate. Optionally we also have anaswara. So bhamar tikate. Now this R is substituted by a Visarga over here, also over here. Then this Visarga is substituted by S, Bhavans Tikate or Bhavans Tikate. Then this S is substituted by Sh by the application of the Sutra Shtunashtuhu. So we have Bhavans Tikate and Bhavans Tikate. Finally, Bhavansh Tikate and Bhavansh Tikate. These two outputs are generated by the application of various other sutras which come later on, later than this particular sutra namely Nashchavya Prashan. Here is one more example, Bhavan plus Chinoti. Here also Na comes at the end followed by this Ch which is part of Chav followed by E, which is part of Am. So this is Ampara Chau, preceded by this Na. And so this Na now is substituted by Ru. So Bhavaru plus Chinoti. This U is marked as it and is deleted by 139. So we get Bhavara plus Chinoti. Now Atrananasika Purva Syatuva applies over here and substitutes this Vavila by the nasal variety of A over here. And optionally also, the same non-nasalized A over here was, so is substituted by the Anuswara plus this vowel. Then this Ra is substituted by the Visarga in both the cases. And then this Visarga is substituted by S in both the cases with nasal sign as well as with Anuswara. And then finally this Sa is substituted by Sh by the application of the sutra stohosh chunashchuhu so bhavamsh and chinoti bhavamsh and chinoti and finally you get bhavamsh chinoti and bhavamsh chinoti as the finally derived output where lots of other sutras apply after the application of nashchavya prashan all the sutras that apply after nashchavya prashan they are serially ordered and they do not violate this particular order. Similarly, we have another example, Bhavan plus Chinati, where Na comes at the end of this Pada, followed by Ch, which is the Chav, followed by E. So the environment for the application of Nashchavya Prashan is there. And so Nashchavya Prashan applies and substitutes this Na by Ru, Bhava Ru plus Chinati then bhavara plus chinati and then now immediately before this r you have this vowel a which is non nasal over here is substituted by the nasal variety of it a and also with the anuswara then this r is substituted by a visarga in both the options and then this visarga 
is substituted by sir in both the options. And this sir gets substituted by sh by the application of the sutra stoschunas chuhu. And so we get these two forms optionally. Finally, we have bhavams chinatti and bhavams chinatti as two options available. So this particular sutra Naschavya Prashan applies and generates these two outputs. Similarly we have as we had quoted earlier the sentence part Agata Sunscha from the Bhagavad Gita where we have Agata Sun plus Cha. This Na occurs at the end of the Pada followed by this Cha which is part of Chau followed by this A which is part of Am. So Ampara Chav is here and immediately before that we have Na at the end of the Pada. So this Na gets substituted by Ru, Ru becomes R and then this R gets further processing. The vowel that comes immediately before is substituted by the nasal variety of it over here or with an Anusvara on top of it over here. Then this Ra is substituted by a Visarga in both the cases also here. Then this Visarga is substituted by S here as well as here. And then this uh, is substituted by Sh by the application of the Sutras Tohoshchanashchuhu in both the cases. And so finally we get Agatasunshcha or Agatasunshcha. Sunsh this is the output generated by the Sutra Naschavya Prashan. To summarize, this is a unique instance of consonant sandhi where one substituent in this case ru or r is substituted by two substitutes sa as well as anusvara together and optionally by sa as well as anunasika together. This brings us closer to the end of the treatment of hal sandhi in the Paninian grammar and in the next lecture we take a recap of the hal sandhi that we have studied so far. Thank you for your patience.